Hi everyone, this is Jay here with jaysonlinereviews.com and in this video I'm going to show you and tell you all about what a squeeze page exactly is and how to create a squeeze page inside your WordPress blog step by step. As you, What you're looking at here is one of my squeeze pages and I'm going to read it to you. I will help you make money online with my 22 free high quality make money online ebooks with PLR, a $200 value, learn and earn at the same time. Plus receive five hours of in-depth in free high definition training videos and all topics related to internet marketing to help you make money online as a bonus. Watch the video below. And I, I have this video paused here because it's real loud and I don't want to have it playing when I'm doing this video tutorial. But this, this video is set to autoplay. As soon as you arrive on this page, it's a nice video that shows you what you're getting exactly. So I highly suggest you sign up for these. You can use these books to build your, your email list and they're free, there's no strings attached. And you can see I got a nice picture set up that shows you the books you're getting. Um, the video, the video's playing, I got a, a nice title there to grab your attention. And what you're gonna do is here is click click on the name and email address here. Put your name here, your email here, click submit. Once you do that, you're gonna go over to the email you put your email address in for and you're going to confirm your subscription and these ebooks will be sent over to you ASAP and you can use them any way you want to use them to build your list to learn from whatever you want to use them for uh, with that being said let me tell you what a squeeze page exactly is a squeeze page has two purposes the first purpose and the main purpose is to collect your name and email address so have a great offer that you're giving away to make that that visitor or potential customer want to put their name and email address in that form and get on your email email list. The better your offer, the more subscribers you're going to get. In return, the more money you're going to make from your uh, squeeze pages. Um, so a squeeze page is that's the main purpose of a squeeze page. The second purpose indirectly is you're only giving somebody two options once they hit a squeeze page. They're either going to leave that squeeze page and you're not going to get that lead or they're going to sign up for your um, whatever freebies you're giving away and once they sign up obviously you're building your email list and then you can potentially sell these sell your um, your leads products in the future uh, that they're interested in. obviously they're, they're, if they sign up for this they'll be interested in PLR making money online stuff like that and you can send them, obviously you're going to want to send them quality free information as well that helps them reach their goals where they don't have to buy anything. So it's kind of a kind of a split. Once in a while you can promote a product to your list and other times you're going to want to give away quality free information that keeps them wanting to open up your emails. So this is my um, one of my main squeeze pages. You can see I got um, social sharing buttons on the top Pin it from Pinterest, LinkedIn, Tweet from Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook Like button. And when people come over here, they can obviously share these um, my squeeze page with friends, family members, or anybody who may be interested in grabbing all these free books. So you're going to want to definitely put social sharing links around your squeeze page. That's a lot of free traffic you're missing out on if you do not have social sharing links on the top of your squeeze page. Okay, with that being said, how to create a squeeze page inside your WordPress blog. First thing you're going to want to do, I'm using, I use Aweber. If you use GetResponse or um, any of the other major autoresponders, it should work out pretty much the same, well, the same way. You're going to create a web form. You're going to make an inline web form inside your Aweber or GetResponse or MailChimp control panel. And then when you're done creating your web form, you're going to see this. You're going to see a JavaScript snippet and a raw HTML version. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to use the raw HTML version. I'm going to copy all this code here. It's already copied. I'm going to go over to the WordPress blog I'm using, using for this tutorial. And what I did here is I clicked, um, I clicked create a page, create new page. As you can see on the left-hand side, it says Pages. I clicked Add New. 
and this is what shows up. And I already filled this out for you. This is the name of the training video here. I put on the, it's the, um, as the title of this. Obviously, it wouldn't be the same as what I'm giving away here. In this example, I'm giving away an SEO book that shows you how to dominate Google and get um, high search engine rankings time and time again. I, and right here, I'm going to put. I'm going to change this actually to sign up here. Yep, oh, wrong letter. I'm gonna change these back. Let's try this again. Now, obviously, this is gonna to wanna to be all caps. I just noticed that. So, just sign up here to learn how to explode your Google rankings and dominate the search engines time and time again. Then you can put grab, grab your free your free ebook now or whatever it may be. Do you want a title that catch, catches catches uh, your um, visitor or potential customer's attention, so they want to sign up for that free book, free ebook. They got to have it, that free offer you're giving away. Okay, so I put the title in here. Now I'm going to go over to text. This is how I created this my opt-in form. Click on text, and this puts everything in HTML format. Now I'm going to paste that uh, code that I copied that I showed you earlier right here. See where it says Aweber form generator? That's that code that I copied earlier. I already pasted it. So when I click visual, my form's gonna my, my um, opt-in form's gonna show up and it's gonna be working. And it's gonna be collecting leads for me. This is just an example post. Obviously you're gonna want to make this look a lot more attractive than what it is. Add pictures to it, maybe a video. Um, you can use my squeeze page as an, as an example that I showed you earlier to collect leads. But I'm just showing you this to show you how to do it. Click Save Draft, and in your case, once it's done, you're going to click Publish because that makes it live on the internet. I'm not wanting to publish this because this is just for um, demonstration purposes. But for you, to make your squeeze page go live, you're going to click Publish. You're going to click Preview Page, and this is where you're going to get when it comes up. And this is just a page on a normal WordPress blog. And see, you see here, sign up. You, it looks doesn't look very well. Obviously, you're going to make it want to make it look a lot better. Obviously, like I said, but this this is your um, your email opt-in form right here. So this is live. So you send traffic to this form. People put their name and email address in there. You're collecting leads and you're building your email list. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a few examples. What you're going to want to do as well, once you create the squeeze page, you want to put squeeze pages on the top left of your blog, depending on your theme, of how your blog's layout is, or the top right, above the fold, so, that, so the customers don't have to scroll down to see your opt-in form so they can sign in. You'll get a higher opt-in rate. So you just do the same, do the same thing. Um, add that code that I showed you, the HTML code. For your um, all your blog posts, you want you can add this your um, opt-in form under every blog post. I recommend that. And to the right or left of your blog, inside the widget area of your blog. Now for the widget area, it's a little different. You're going to use a JavaScript snippet, and you're going to take this. This is for to add. This is just to add your opt-in forms on the left or right hand side of your blog that appear on every page of your blog to collect leads. And then you're going to go over to widgets and this is my main sidebar here. What I'm going to do here is take a text button here, hold down the left mouse button and then drop it right on top and then I'm going to type put that code right there that's a JavaScript code and then you can put your title right here to dominate the search engines and receive and um, grab number one Google rankings sign up here for your free book something like that depends on what you're giving in what you're giving away will depend on what your title is 
you click save now that that your uh, opt-in form is going to appear on your blog wherever you put it on the right hand side of your blog above the fold on the left hand side ab above the fold however you, wherever you want it so that's going to be the difference another thing I do recommend when you're building squeeze pages if you have like an extra twenty to thirty dollars to invest I highly recommend that you buy a paid squeeze page plugin that helps you build squeeze pages a lot easier because they look a lot better and they're gonna make you more money they're gonna save you time and they're gonna get you a lot more leads I mean they're gonna do everything so it's well worth the usually it's about twenty thirty bucks for a, a good squeeze page generator a good squeeze page uh, plugin for WordPress and the two I recommend are epic squeeze page it's pretty uh, pretty cool I own that one and private list magnet or PLM uh, I don't know if that first one's private or whatever but it's PLM you just type into Google PLM list magnet or PLM squeeze page and it'll come up it's the same with the epic squeeze page they're both good I use generations a good one too right here I actually have about four or five different ones that I mess with that I bought throughout the years so those are my favorites but um yeah add those add those uh, social sharing buttons on top of your squeeze page and basically invest in um, a, if you can afford it that twenty to thirty dollars is well worth it because it's going to make you a lot more money than what you spent on buying the software as long as you drive traffic to your squeeze page you'll be fine and it'll, it'll be a, a well worthwhile investment if you do buy a squeeze page plugin from WordPress and you're having trouble uploading it a lot of people run into this trouble all you got to do is click plugins click add new and then when you go over to the add new plugins let me click on it for you and you're going to click upload now you're going to do this after you bought your plugin whatever plugin you bought and you, you saved and it downloaded and it saved to your, your pictures or your download file whatever it may be to find it this is what you're going to do so click plug, plugins click add new and then you're going to click upload find that particular plugin that you bought and then you're going to click activate plugin and then it's going to say after you click activate plugin it's going to say activation is successful find the plugin it'll usually be in tools or settings and then activate it and go through there and follow the steps um, to start using your plugin so that's my um, tutorial on how to make a squeeze page how to set it up on WordPress on your WordPress blog make sure you come over here and grab my 22 free ebooks there and you can use these like I said to build build your squeeze pages and it'll help you make money and they're also very good if you don't even want to use them for that purpose you can come on over you know put your name and email address in that form check your email confirm that you want these books inside your email address and they will be sent over to you ASAP and there's a ton of great books that cover I mean all aspects of making money online from social networking um, how to make money with Clickbank how to make money blogging email marketing tips I mean you name it they're pretty much in there it's a nice little bundle and they're they're very high quality too so they're not garbage books I'm giving away so with that being said if you like this video please share it with a friend and sign up for those free ebooks underneath this video I hope you enjoyed this training and good luck on your squeeze pages thanks and have a great day bye bye